helping those affected by miscarriages and other forms of reproductive loss. A local organization provides tools to help people cope, and they're hosting a fundraiser to help continue their mission. Joining me now is the CEO of Life Perspectives, Michaeline Fredenberg. Good morning. Good morning. So good to have you here. I want to talk about, you've become an expert on this topic because you do have your own personal story that has led you to where you are today. Mm -hmm. Let's start there so folks at home kind of know where you're coming from. Right, yeah, thank you. When I was 18, I became pregnant, um, chose to terminate the pregnancy. Certainly wasn't an easy decision to make, but it wasn't really one that I had imagined what it might be like afterwards. And I know everyone's experience is going to be unique, but for me, I really struggled. And I think what made it even harder is that I didn't feel like I had anybody that I could talk to, and I felt really alone and isolated. Fortunately, in time, I was able to reach out for some help, and as things got better for me, I began to share my story, just kind of out of the, if somebody else feels alone, I want them to know that they're not. And in doing that, so many people began to share their stories with me, men, women, family members and friends. Maybe they were impacted by abortion, maybe it was miscarriage or stillbirth. Um, and the one thing that I would hear, I know those losses all occur very differently, but the sense of isolation, that they felt so alone. And for those who knew people who were impacted, they often felt like they didn't know how to support them. They didn't know what to do, and so they were often silent. And I, too, have had two miscarriages. Mm -hmm. I know how loss is. Uh, I have two beautiful babies now, but it was a long road, mm -hmm. and I, too, felt very isolated, very depressed, and I felt like everybody just kept telling me, you'll get your baby, it'll come, it's common, and that's not like what you want to hear. At least that's not what I wanted to hear because it didn't feel like it was ever going to happen. I wanted somebody to tell me it's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad. Yes. So you have created this uh, safe place basically for men and women both to come mm -hmm. and talk about it because it affects the men just as much as the women. It does. So talk about Life Perspective, the team that you have, and how they're helping. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes, we have a, a couple things. So there, we have some digital resources, two websites, miscarriagehurts.com and abortionchangesyou.com. So somebody can go there and anonymously begin to participate in some interactive activities. Maybe they want to share their story. Perhaps if they lost their child through miscarriage, they would like to name them and place their name there. Um, in addition to that, we do offer training for leaders as well as healthcare professionals. Your typical healthcare professional has received no training um, when they were going to school and now they're faced with clients or patients who are dealing with these losses and they often don't know what to do. What is the best advice you can give to somebody that's watching that maybe has a friend or family member that has gone through this or may in the future what is the best way for them to approach it and help that person move forward? Mm -hmm. Well, I think one of the key things is to actually acknowledge the loss and acknowledge the experience. Often out of fear, we don't because we feel like we're going to make it worse. Mm -hmm. And yet we find that silence is actually what makes things worse for people. So saying things like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, you're not alone. I'm with you. How can I help you? And making sure that that occurs beyond that time. Of course, take cues from that person. Person, but cards and gifts and visits and remembering those anniversaries all become very important and help them know that they're not alone and that they can grieve or whatever experience they're having, they can do that with somebody else. We are almost out of time, but let's talk about the fundraiser that's going on Wednesday. A great way for people to come and help so that you guys can continue your efforts in helping others. Absolutely. So we're really pleased. One of our community sponsors is Absolution by the Sea in La Jolla. And so they have offered that day. Anybody who comes in, their 10% of their total bill will go to Life Perspectives and and also, while people are there, if they'd like to, we have our 5K coming up October 27th, and there's a discount for their registration fee that day as well. And I know you have a great website. We will have a link to that on our yes. website a little later this morning where people can get connected with your team and start that grieving process and get the help that they're looking for and need during these difficult times. Absolutely. Everything can be accessed from lifeperspectives.com. Thank you. And again, we will have a link on our website, thecwsandiego.com, a little later this morning. Heather, we'll get things back over to you. All right, ladies, thanks. A local